Now let's see how we can connect Viva MCP. Let's go to this cursor MCP and let's search for Jira or oh, Axia oh. system. No. Okay. It's not how we use it. What can we do? Maybe the best way is to search it on the internet. Jira MCP server. And as you notice, they, we are calling them MCP server. Okay. MCP is the name in the whole MCP. So MCP has a server, has a client. So your cursor works as a client. And these uh, kind of plugin things, it's a server actually. Okay. I'm not gonna go more in detail, but know that these are server. We need to look for MCP servers. So when I search Jira MCP server, the first one is from the Atlassian itself. So the second one is a GitHub link. And probably this is not made by the Atlassian itself. This is a third party, but someone made it. And as you can uh, see, when you come down, you need to create API token, you need to do some configuration, which sometimes is not hard, but uh, not always easy. So uh, usually it's better to find the one that the, the, that website or that product may be for themselves, like Atlassian. So if I go here, um, Wait a bit. You can see this is the post about this MCP server. And okay, I will suggest you click on this MCP server. And here setting up IDEs cursor. And uh, if you come down, 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 you can see how you can connect it with the cursor. So, as you can see, it's not easy. But don't worry. Uh, okay, there is a JSON file. This type of file we call it JSON. If you are not a programmer, you don't know this way. So we just need to com copy this configuration, which is a JSON file. And then goes to cursor, and then here, new MCP server. Okay, imagine it's not open. So I'm coming to the top to this tools and I'm on general. So I go to the tools and the integration. I'm coming to the new MCP server and it opens this mcp.json. As I told you, it's called JSON. So don't panic. <laughs> it's easy. And you can see Notion is already there. Isn't it interesting? The name that we put is here. The URL that we put is here. So it's kind of not very complicated, no? So let's just press on enter and paste what we have. And as you can see, hmm. wait, let me undo it. Let me paste it here. Do you see any similarity? Here we have MCP servers, here we have MCP server. So one thing that is obvious, we don't want to repeat it. So the, the only part you need is this part, which is the name, Atlassian MCP server, and a configuration. Okay. So as you can see, this is an example that how it would be if you just wanted to have Atlassian. Now that I have two, I have Notion and I have Atlassian, 
I am putting auto frame. So if I close these ones, you can see I have my motion and I have attached an MCG server. I can make this one. Be careful, you need to put a comma here. If you don't, it will go so, comma. URL, everything. And here also. Okay. And if you want to add more MCG server, it's again a comma, main. No, oh, MCT server. Uh, it's suggesting us the GitHub, for example. Then open, close, and then URL. I'm not sure if it's the correct one. As you can see, the cursor tries to guess. But for now, I don't want to add this one. So I just wanted to show how you can add more and more. And it's not always like this to have a URL. Okay, we go there. Uh, so let's re just remove. So we just added this one and the comma and this part which this part is already there you see okay now if you can see this is like the circle means it's not saved so i have to file save for command and s and if i go back to cursor setting now i have my atlassian server here but as you know we need to log in so i I'll click on the login. It will ask me, okay, this is Atlassian. Do you want to give access to Jira and Confluence? So now I'll just give the Jira. So approve. Now I need to log in. So I will pause it and I will log in in the meantime. And yes, now I'm logged in. And this is what you see after you log in, which is like Atlassian MCT is requesting access to your Atlassian account. So what will happen if you give the access? They, they can see your uh, everything in your Jira. You can update and you can see the user. So you just need to accept it. And it wants to go back the cursor and you can see it wants to open a link in the cursor i just click on open link coming back here it wants to open the link in the cursor open and done we are connected to the atlassian let's ask it do you have access to my jira And yes, that's it. Congratulations, you have access to the Jira. <laughs> and as you can see, there are different ways to connect to the MCT servers. Some of them are easy, some of them are a bit more complicated, some of them are third parties, like mm, some tools are just other people made the MCT servers for them and the website the, their website is still didn't make it. Uh, but yeah, it's fun and it's uh, it will be more and more MCT servers adding and you can use them. Now that we have Jira, now that we have Notion, you can do a lot of things. This is the way I even the, uh, I work in a normal working day I, I have the Jira, i have the notion i have the part of its explanation of my task in the um, in the Jira as a ticket and i have a full explanation of that whole documentation in the notion like you could have it also in confluence yes uh, we are using notion so uh, yes you could also just use atlassian mct to connect to the confluence and notion and the both so yes, I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.